name is Francois from Hybrid Power Solutions, and today we're going to do a quick instructional video on how to wire up uh, solar panels to the backpack energy from Hybrid Power Solutions. Uh, here we have the extended range, but I'll give you some data on the basic model and then we can go from there. Uh, so as you can see, it's a pretty plug-in-play system. We've got it all wired up here, but I'll, I'll throw you guys through the steps on how to do that. It's really, really simple. Um, what we have here, and if you did order with the solar charging capability, is that you will see the addition of two MC4 connectors right on the front here. You'll see here on the front, um, all you really have to do is have the unit in awake and then plug your panels in. Now, you'll see on the back of your panels here that you've got two MC4 connectors. So you've got one here and one here, positive and negative. They're made so basically you can't, you can't mess this up. The only thing you could do is plug the positive of its panel into the negative of, the, of its own panel. Obviously, you do not want to go do that. Um, so in this setup, what I've done is I already pre-connected a positive and negative, meaning that there's only a positive coming out of this one or a negative coming out of this one and a positive coming out of the other. Then all you've got to do is plug them in here. Quick snap in there. And obviously if, uh, if these are on your roof or if they're not you know, a couple feet away, you will need an extension, uh, which is available on Amazon or any other supplier or uh, you know, when we do sell these kits, we do have a 50 foot extension that comes with them, which is something else you can use. Uh, but these are readily available. The connectors themselves are also readily available if you do not, uh, if you do not have those in stock. They're, they're just called MC4 uh, solar panel connectors. So you just plug in the second connector here, and that's it. Uh, if there was some sunlight here, these would click on. You'd see this illuminate, go to yellow. That means you do have enough sun for this to start charging, and, uh, and that's all you got. Um, the nice thing with this guy that we have here is that it actually tells you how you should uh, rate your solar panel setup. Uh, there's a lot of information online as well on, on this, but uh, essentially it allows you to say, okay, how many devices do am I running and, and what's the required solar panel size? So this is our simple setup. Say you had uh, a little bit more complex setup where you actually had four of these panels, what you would do is actually buy a parallel connector. What that does is combine these two in a parallel configuration instead of a series configuration. And once you have that hooked up together, then that parallel output would take two panels, bridge them into one connector, and then after that you connect them up to here. So it's, it's, it's pretty, uh, pretty simple uh, setup. And that is it. So if you did have sun in here, if it was sunny out, if these were facing the, the proper direction, this gauge here would light up orange or yellow, uh, telling you that it actually is uh, awake and charging. So that's how you know it's charging. Uh, at night, it will turn itself off, so you'll notice that as well. Uh, in this guide that comes with it, you'll have other information on how to properly size your panel setup and uh, for different applications and how to connect them properly. If you have any other questions, please feel free to get in, uh, in touch with us. Numbers right on front of the unit, uh, or just give us an email or go on our website. We'll be happy to assist you with any of, uh, any of those questions. Um, remember that you can charge and discharge these units at the same time if you want to, so you can have them connected up to solar and also discharge them. Uh, remember that uh, charging can only occur, even if you have the cold weather package, off solar at minus five degrees or higher. Um, so please make sure that you do keep these indoors if it is really cold out or in a protected area or a heated garage would be best if you are combining these with, uh, with the solar uh, system here. So minus five degrees Celsius or above. So if you're going to a little bit more of a complex system or a larger system uh, where you have multiple panels, so say you have four of these panels, uh, what you would do is you would want to use a parallel connector. These are available on Amazon or available through us or through other distributors. Um, and essentially what it does is combines the output of two of these panels into one. So you've only got one, uh, you know, one positive and one negative coming out of two panels. So you'd have that, a set of two panels there, another set of two panels wired in parallel as well, and those would each plug into here. That's all described in detail in the wiring guide that comes with these. Uh, so make sure to look at that. And what you want to make sure is that your output from these panels is always 24 volt or 36 volts in reality. 
reality. So you can check that with a voltmeter once you've got everything wired up before you plug it in. That way you make sure you're safe, plug it in, see the gauge light up, you're good to go. Uh, it doesn't get more simple than that really. Um, yeah, it's, uh, you, you do want to combine them with an extension cord if you need to and uh, just make sure to keep that short. So there we go. That's uh, the solar charging capability on the Backpack Energy Hybrid from Hybrid Power Solutions. Thank you. Oh, my God.